Good day everybody. Welcome back to the Hen's Tooth Cafe. And I realized for the first time after all the videos I've made that um, I never seem to have a cup of coffee even though it's the Hen's Tooth Cafe. So today, there we go, cup of coffee. So, what we have on the bench today, courtesy of Mr. Water Places, yes that's his name, for purposes of anonymity, we will refer to uh, the wonderful gentleman who sent me this piece of art um, as Mr. Water Places. Um, I found him on the internet, just uh, basically went on a fishing trip and uh, snagged a big one. And he was kind enough to send me his Schumann PLL. Um, it needed a little bit of work with the wiring. The wiring in these things is very, very flimsy. If you look on the internet, you'll find gut shots of these. It's uh, it, they're a mess, really. When you open them up, it's just it's just it's a rat's nest in there. Um, which <clears throat> For for a circuit, it's actually uh, the layout is 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 pretty uh, pretty simple, and uh, but when you open it up and you first take a look at it, I mean you know I'm I'm you know no electronics expert by any stretch of the imagination, but you know when I first saw the pictures and and you see that wiring going all over the place, you think to yourself, my God, you know this thing is just like must be a freaking space shuttle, which it isn't. It isn't. It is a cool sounding box though. That's one thing for sure. And uh, basically the point of my video today is just to um, concentrate on the multiplier and divider aspect of this and um, provide a little more insight as to what they're doing. Um, you have volumes here. There's a volume for the multiplier and there's a volume for the divider. It, you can kill the divider volume and um, if you're listening to the multiplier um, changing the divider position won't affect it uh, but it's not the same vice versa if you're listening to the divider side of it even if you turn the multiplier volume all the way off the multiplier still affects the divider uh, it's it's like it's at the head of the class um, uh, what I've done here is I've set up a uh, signal generator at uh, 440 hertz and I'm gonna pump the signal into it and uh, we'll be able to hear what the interaction is between these two controls so we'll just turn the preamp a little bit and we'll give it a little more volume So there's our signal, and like I said, we'll turn the divider right off. There's our multiplier signal, we'll turn it right up, and You've got uh, nine positions, nine different octave sections that you can play with. And like I said, divider, nothing, nada. Now, we'll turn the multiplier down. That's our divider section. First time I heard that made me think of Fred Flintstone there when he gets up in the morning. Bah, ho, 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 ho. So now, um, like I said, our multiplier volume is uh, all the way down, yet... Coolness. It, um... Even though the volume is off, it still retains control over the di divider section, allowing you to 
reach different uh, different parts of the uh, of, of the lower octave. So it took me a little time to figure it out, but uh, once I did, I thought that was that was really cool. That's uh, that's that's uh, that, it's nice that, that it's set up that that way because um, it, it it expands the range of of the divider. Um, the other controls just basically uh, mess with the signal and uh, like your loop track and response and lag time preamp trigger square wave square wave shape this is like you know, square wave and and this is basically the tone of the square wave and and the master volume um, there uh, there's uh, another video I think by bass fuzz on YouTube where he plays through it and uh, he goes into depth there as to what uh, what all the controls do um, this section here is a lot of fun to play with. Um, for the phasing switches, we'll just uh, give you an idea of what they do. You have uh, the divider phase and the multiplier phase, and uh, it's a lot easier to hear what they do with a tone generator than it is with guitar, um, because uh, the guitar frequencies sometimes don't interact enough I guess with the circuit I'm I'm just using layman's terms here to really so you that you can really hear the effect of the positive or negative phase but with a tone generator So there you go. You can see uh, that uh, playing with the phase there does alter the uh, the sound of either the uh, multiplier or the divider section of the effect. And uh, with guitar, <coughs> I find personally it's got a really nice square wave fuzz. It's uh, it's um, I, I think uh, to date, this is my opinion and my opinion only. I'm sure there are a lot of uh, different opinions out there, that's for sure. Maybe some naysayers, but I like the square wave fuzz of this box. It's. Uh for uh, for the loop uh, if we go to uh, the maximum lag time we'll just turn it up a bit. you hear that uh, it'll it'll delay the loop coming in that's on the slowest
speed. And on the intermediate speed, we'll turn it up a little more. And if we just uh, turn the multiplier and divider right down. It's a nasty, nasty square wave. But like I said, out of uh, out of the square wave fuzzes that I've heard, uh, this is the the best one I've heard to date. Uh, especially considering if you the all the extras that you could throw in here too. So there you go, the Schumann PLL. Um, clone information coming soon to a stop box forum near you. Um, going to be doing a Vero for it, absolutely. I know uh, this sucker's been uh, on a lot of people's hit list for the longest time, but the information was just uh, really, uh, really tough to, really tough to get a hold of. And um, there you go. This has been my, my latest mission. So that's it for the uh, Hen's Tooth Cafe for now. Thanks once again for coming and watching. Always a pleasure to uh, bring these little treats to you as much a uh, much as a, as much as it is a pleasure for me to have one in my hands on the bench it's just as much a pleasure to bring it to you once again big fat thank you to water places for supplying us with this little gem and uh, have yourselves a great fuzzy day bye now <laughs>